the isotropic compressibility alpha is defined as negative one over the specific volume times how the volume changes as I change pressure holding S constant isentropic. How about for an ideal gas? We know for an ideal gas PV is equal to RT at all times. But I would like to take this derivative. I'd like to take that derivative. I have to find a relationship between pressure and volume where one other property is constant. What is that other property? S. Do I know of any equations where I have pressure and volume are related for an ideal gas and it's isentropic? P V to the K is equal to a constant. This applies only for an ideal gas and only S is equal to a constant. Isentropic process, true? So it's embedded in there. So if I want to calculate the derivative I have to rearrange this. How, how can I rearrange it? Put constant over pressure is equal to V to the K. True? Now the next step. Uh, what's the next step? V is equal to a constant over pressure to the 1 over K? Or did I butcher any rules of... What was K again for air? Roughly 1.4. So now, now that I have that, can I calculate the rate of change of V with respect to pressure and I know that S is constant, so I'm going to have the C to the 1 over K is a constant. Forget about that. And I'll have P to the minus 1 over K. P to the minus 1 over K minus 1. Yeah, you like that? Now, you can rearrange this a little bit, right? Because 1 is K over K. You get a common denominator. And so if you wanted to, you could rearrange it. But let's leave it there for a minute. Um, let's come over here. So alpha is equal to minus 1 over V. Okay. Well, what do I do for V? Is V always... Here's a question for you. For this V right here, should I substitute RT over P? Or should I substitute... 1 over V, V is equal to um, uh, P over C to the 1 over K. See what I'm doing? I'm, I'm either going to here or I'm going to here. Well, V is equal to RT over P. There. Which, 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 what should I, I just want to deal with this 1 over V first. So, let me ask you this. This derivative was forced to have what held constant? This 1 over V, is that forced to have entropy constant? That's the biggest clue I can give you. So, which one do you like? First one. Very good. But now, when we calculate that derivative and substitute, we're going to have... C to the 1 over K minus 1 over K times P to the 1 minus 1 over K P to the minus 1. Okay, fine. That looks like a pretty garbled up mess. But this and this cancel, true? And then the minus sign and the minus sign go away. And uh, we do have some more work ahead of us, but we're going to have if I combine this C right here with that P right there, right, what do I get? I get C over P to the 1 minus. Can I replace that this right? Is V equal to C over P to the 1 over K? Is, that's what I'm going to use right there, true? So alpha is equal to V over K R T. Okay, and then the other one is somebody says, I think I can, I can simplify this term right here, true? What is V divided by RT? So alpha is equal to uh, 1 over KP for, for what? An ideal gas, isentropic compressibility of an ideal gas.